Welcome to What Away with Washers, where we tried to model a washer as many ways as possible using Creo Parametric. On this What Away with Washers, we're going to look at several different ways to import existing washer files from other packages from other locations. I've got several included in a drive here. Uh, we can start with the SolidWorks file. So this washer was created in SolidWorks. I can drag it over here. And Creo plays very nicely with SolidWorks. It comes in as a SolidWorks file. I don't know how this was created. There's not really much I can do with the part, but the part comes in, it is solid. And if I use my analysis, I can verify that it has that same two inch OD, one inch ID, and that the overall height is indeed half an inch. So SolidWorks comes in nice. It knows it's a SolidWorks file. We don't need to do anything with it. We can just bring the native SolidWorks file in here. Um, another uh, heads up when you're trying to search for a SolidWorks file, if you click open, it doesn't show up here. It's only looking for Creo files. You can try to find SolidWorks part and search just for SolidWorks parts. Or a common way is to click all files and see everything that's available. Okay. Next we'll open uh, this STL file. So we're going to bring in an STL file and it'll show us what it looks like. It'll have all the facets. But this is not a solid part. I can't add a round to it or a hole to it. I can't take any of the material away. This is not a solid part. It'll show us what the STL file looks like, but it's not really something that we can work with. I could go in and create a sketch up on the top plane if I had a, a top plane. And I could try to maybe copy some of the geometry, but I can't really modify this existing STL file. Next we have a Fusion 360 file. And just so you know, Creo Parametric will not work with a native Fusion 360 file. You can see now in my drive here, after I open that SolidWorks part, it does have a Creo extension. Next we'll go to a step file. This one came from Onshape. This part came from Onshape, but step files can come from any CAD package. It would be a good way to get around the Fusion 360 error that we just saw. Uh, I could run an import data doctor. The repair seems to have worked. Uh, I don't really think there was anything wrong, but the uh, repair seems to have pulled all of those surfaces back together. This is a solid model. Okay. We do have the option to add rounds or holes. It is a solid geometry. Okay. But I want to uh, do a quick measurement and make sure we've got the right size. And I see that it's listing the diameter as 0.05 meters. Uh, so it is reading in metric. Let's just confirm uh, that we can switch it into English. So that's a property. I typically look for properties using the search command. And that is a model property. You'll notice that model properties live under the file dropdown, prepare model properties. And we can see from here that our units are meters, kilogram, second. And if I change it into the default of inch pound mass second, I am going to convert. So I'm hoping that this is the right size and it was just reading the wrong way. And when I measure again, I do have that outer diameter of two inches, inner diameter of one inch, and then the overall height of half an inch. 
And now we can save this as a Creo file. All right, so we've taken a look at SolidWorks. Fusion 360 didn't work. STL will open but can't be used for anything. And we used a step file that came from Onshape. The last one I'm going to look at is this downloaded McMaster file. So I've gone to McMaster car and I've, in fact, we'll come back here, McMaster.com. I'm in the washer category. There are many websites out there to download files, but McMaster is a great one to start with. So in my McMaster car, I've already kind of taken a look a little bit, but if I come down to outer diameter, and I type in two, there is an exactly two inch OD washer. There's some options here for IDs associated with that two inch OD, and there is a one inch. There's not a lot of variation available here. In fact, you'll see we either have rubber or plastic or we have these wool cushioning washers available in the one inch, two inch sizes. This thickness is way too thin, but it's the right inside diameter and outside diameter. So we'll go ahead and use this file. So I'm gonna download the step file. Okay. And I've actually already downloaded it and it's in my, in my folder. All right, easiest way is just to drag it over. Okay. I'm gonna leave everything set the way it is. And here comes my washer. Let's check the sizes. Right. Outer diameter is two inches, inner diameter is one inch. I don't need this coordinate system, we'll hide that. Now if I want to make this an overall height of 0.5, let's see here. We currently have an overall height of 0.07. So I need to take that top surface and raise it up by 0.43. You could go in and create an extrude on any of these surfaces but I'm going to introduce you to the tool of flexible modeling, which is great for imported geometry. I'm going to take advantage of offset, which is going to allow me to select the surface and offset that surface 0.43. And that's going to take the existing geometry and extend it so that we end up with that overall thickness of 0.5. Thanks for checking in on this episode of What Away With Washers, where we talked about using external geometry to create our washer in Creole.